Howdy folks, Kerbo here, and we're back on No Creek. Got my tractor nice and dirty. That all came from getting fields three and four plowed, the northern fields. And now we need to fuel up. I uh, need to water the cows here on the first day of summer. Then we're going to head on down and do the southern two fields, fields one and two. So I'm going to hop in here. It's farm sim, so I have to hop in the tractor to put fuel in it. Then we're going to go uh, get some water here for the cows. So along with getting the fields plowed, I've also um, found a bale spike here for later when we're moving bales around. I got a milk trailer bot. It's over here ready to fill up. It'll hold about, I think it's around 30,000 liters. So it'll be a while yet before we have a full tanker load, but we're going to offload there as this tank fills up. Once we have a load, we can go sell that if the price is right. Meantime, let's hop over the fence here. I still have not figured out why the grass is growing in the troughs. That's strange. This grass isn't here in the editor, so I don't know what's going on. Anywho, let's, uh, let's water the cows. Doesn't take long, but it's got to be done. And as you can see here from the field grass, we've got a nice crop of grass. All grown. So if I can get the plowing done, in between plowing and cultivating and seeding, I want to try to get some hay mode. But for today, we're just plowing. At least until it rains. It rained a little bit in the middle of the night. It's dry now, but the forecast is for some more rain. We're full of fuel though. So while we got sunlight, let's go get some plowing done. I'm gonna go start at the south end of this field here. I believe that's where the entrance is. Let's take an overall view here. So this is field one, right? Yeah, that's field one. Then the odd U-shaped field over there is field two. A strange shape to it because of the way the land lies. I believe there's a crossing down here, but I could be wrong. Still new to this farm. Not so much with the crossing there. Well, how deep is it? Let's ease out into the grass here. Not super deep. We can get across. There we go. We made it. So I think we'll head down here and we'll just start plowing north-south. The long edge. Before I get started, let me pull up the overview here. The other fields. We pull up the plowing. Pull this up here. So I'm using the soil compaction mod. Uh, so normally when you plow, you pretty much get this, you get brown and then the red goes away where you plowed. The soil compaction mod, you get pink and then slightly redder pink. And then uh, red again. And you can see this field we plowed kind of with the lay of the land because it's sort of terraced for erosion control. So there's a lot more overlap and there's a lot of compaction. I did a lot of turning around here. I did a lot of turning around here, getting around this ditch here that we didn't actually get plowed. So the soil got compacted around fairly lightly. That'll get cleared by the cultivation. There may be a few spots here and there that don't get cleared that are deep. But for the most part, once we cultivate field four, it should be all pretty much perfect. 
Now the difference here with field three, it's a nice straight field for the most part. There's this stuff down here. Uh, so I used GPS and I just went back and forth with GPS. So I had a lot cleaner run, less overlap. Now, there was a strip down through here that I missed, but I didn't bother driving out onto the field and getting it. I just left it. It's just a narrow strip. But a lot less turning around, a lot less uh, overlap because of using the GPS. Results in a lot less compaction because we drove and then we plowed behind us. So it's looking pretty good. Now we've got fields one and two to do. You can see two is a really goofy shape here. We're going to start with one. I'm going to cheat a little bit and do this from the outside view. Uh-oh. It is clouding up. So we may not get much plowing done. Let's do that. Let's get the GPS set up and make sure I'm straight. Throw the calculations off. Let's move that over. That should be pretty good right there. See if we can get at least a couple strips done here before it starts raining. Now with the soil compaction mod, if when the field gets wet, we'll really compact it hard. So we don't want to drive on a wet field. We'll see what we can get done here. We have to wait it out. It is a fairly wet summer. We'll forecast up here. Got a little bit of rain today. It looks like it's mostly clear tomorrow. And then we've got rain, rain, rain. And then we've got three days of clear. So there's a lot of rain coming. It's going to be a little nasty getting the field work in. But we'll, we'll make it do somehow. Forecast button is the same button as the headlights. And get a nice thumbnail here. Beep. Sorry about the beeps. Field 3 and 4, there was a lot of trees, and ditches, and fences. There was a lot of obstacles. Over here is fairly clear. We've just got the highline poles here to worry about. For the most part, though, it's pretty, pretty easy going. Turned. Down the road a little bit here. Not a lot of traffic through this part of the country. Uh-oh. Here comes the rain. Let's get off the field. Turn that into a muddy mess. Well, once again, weather is not my friend. Luckily, though, once this rainstorm blows through, it should dry out because we've got that clear weather coming. Wish that wouldn't beep every time you did that. So I'll wait out the rain, and I'll be back here in a little bit. All right, well, it rained for a couple, three hours, but I uh, went and got some lunch. It was a pretty light rain. It's all dried out here. Oh, I left my headlights on. I wonder if I didn't run the battery down. It'd be cool if that was a thing. But anyway, let's get back at it.
locked on here. Uh, let's see, we came up, turning that way, and we're still turning... Okay, we should be good then. Make sure I had my plow turned. Do I have it turned right? Do I have it turned wrong? Oh, you know what I didn't do? That's why it doesn't look right. I didn't set up my GPS to automatically uh, reverse the offset for the plow. So there's a little more compaction for you. That turned back on. We need uh, automatic offset on, and then I want to... Uh, yeah, we want the offset on that side, so that should be good. Yeah, we shouldn't be leaving any gap. Should be all good. Yep, all good. So I noticed my cow productivity is down to like 50%. Um, I'm not sure with all the different factors at play what's going on there. I, s I know that it takes a hit if you don't give them TMR. Uh, but it went down. It was up to like, I thought it was around 70% when I started. Then a couple days later, it's down to like 50%. I don't know. That's something we'll have to kind of figure out. So we will try to get some TMR made soon, but we got to get the crops in. Or at least at least get a field planted then we can start worrying about hay the, the cows will survive on just grass and water we just won't get the best production but we're just getting started here on no creek so can't expect to be full throttle right off the bat Still loving these New Holland tractors. Nice turn radius. Uh, multi-terrain angle doesn't quite line up with the way we're plowing it's always a little disconcerting I don't know if that's something they'll address in farm sim 19 or not probably not I don't have much hope for 19 but I'm willing to be surprised I think it's just going to be a little bit of a facelift on the graphics and not much else improving but we'll see Like I said before, I'd rather have Farm Sim 13 graphics and super awesome simulated systems and crops and everything. But that's just me. I know their player base is mostly casual and on console, so they have to cater to their player base. But, uh, anywho, we're coming up on the pushing 15 minutes here soon depending on how much I edit out so I think I'm just gonna go back and forth here and we're gonna get the plowing done that will probably take up uh, the rest of the day if I work late I can probably get it done today and then tomorrow maybe we can get some cultivating done I might cultivate my biggest field and get that planted and then finish up the others if we have time I think that might be a sound plan. So we just have our biggest field planted and growing.
So that's the plan for the uh, for the next couple episodes. I'm going to go ahead and keep on plowing. Thanks for watching as always, and I'll catch you in the next one.